guys, it's LPS Kitty Forever here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an LPS intro in 2024. Today we are going to be doing this on a MacBook and using iMovie. You probably could do it on the phone, but it would be slightly more complicated. If you guys have any questions in the comments, just let me know and I can do my best to figure that out, but let's get into it. Alright guys, so the first step of this video is to go to my channel and click on the How to Make an Intro 2024 playlist. And there you will find a bunch of templates with background videos, um, green screen effects, sound effects, and non-copyrighted music that you can use for your intros. So what you're going to do is go on that playlist and find anything that you want to incorporate into your intro. And then once you find that background video, you're going to copy the link and then you're going to find a YouTube to MP4 converter to download the video to your computer. So you're just going to go ahead and click MP4. And then you're going to paste in your YouTube link to the background video to download it to your computer. Whenever you download these things, you want to make sure that you make a folder on your computer and to keep everything organized. So to find the intro song you want, you basically just want to go on YouTube and type in the song and then no copyright next to it so that you don't get copyrighted in your intro. And you're going to copy that link and again, you're going to put that into the YouTube to MP3 converter. This time you want to do MP3, not MP4. And then you're going to download that to your computer and put it in the folder that you put the other video in. So this is totally optional, but if you want any green screen effects, you're going to go ahead and download those to your computer as well. Um, I will put some in that folder, but I ultimately pick some butterfly wings. To make this video as free as possible, you're going to go ahead and use iMovie. So I went ahead and created a new movie, and I'm going to import the folder that I used for my stuff. Alright, so once you got everything in here, you're going to go ahead and find the background video that you're going to use. I use this clouds and you're going to import that into the project. Now to do green screen effects, you're going to go ahead and drag that video into the project and you're going to cut to where the green screen starts. Now to make the green screen work, you're going to drag the video and put it on top of the background video. Okay, so now we're going to come up here. Instead of cut away, we want green screen. This will make the green screen actually work. So now as you can see, there are some butterflies on my screen with the help of green screen. You can do any effect that you choose for your intro. All right, so now you're going to want to go ahead and drag your music in. You can do whatever song you like. Just make sure there's no copyright in it so that you don't get copyrighted. Once you find the part of the song you want to use, you want to go ahead and split this clip and then delete the rest of the music. Then you want to go ahead and drag these little corners so that your audio will kind of transition in and out and it's not so blunt. Alright, so now you want to go ahead and do your title. Go ahead and look through all of the titles to make sure which effect you want, but I decided to do the focus effect. So I just went ahead and dragged that into the clip and then you want to make that as long as the video. So now here's the customizing part. You're going to go ahead and type in your YouTube channel. So I went ahead and typed in mine and then you're just going to click whatever font that you want. I went in through my desktop fonts and just looked at all of them and picked the one that I liked the most. Once you go ahead and pick your font, you can put an outline on your text as well. Also make the text as big or as little as you'd like. And once you're done with that step, you're pretty much done. Here is my final product. I think it turned out really well. Now you'll just want to export the video and title it as your intro so that you can incorporate it into all your YouTube videos. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this updated intro tutorial video. I had so much fun making it and it just goes to show that it really isn't terribly hard to make an intro. You can make a super simple one and it works just as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any comments and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!